Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video I'm once again taking a look at one of your designs that you have linked me in the comment section of one of my videos. And if you to see some of yours shown on this channel just leave me the Steam Workshop link somewhere and I'll eventually get round to it. But for today we are looking at another small block modded fighter and this one is called the CSC Fighter which is this lovely thing right here. So this is a very small very compact fighter that features one hell of a lot of firepower. We've got 6 default galling guns that you can sort of see next to the cockpit. We've got some modded turrets on the top and the bottom as well as a modded rocket launcher that will home in onto your enemies, chase them to the ends of the earth and hopefully will collide with them causing a big explosion or maybe they will outmaneuver it and it will hit something else. It also features the shield mod which I do wish would be added to the base game because most small block ships are kind of like paper when they go up against large turrets. Yes unfortunately the shield mod is not currently working, I'm not too sure what's going on with it, it kept throwing up some errors. I tried to fiddle around with it but I don't really like to mess around with people's designs and alter it to try and get stuff to work so I'm just going to leave the mod for the moment. But anyway pressing F10 and finding the CSC in the spawn menu, there it is. This thing is 934 small blocks using the Sparks of the Future and Wasteland DLC packs. It uses 3 mods, one for the shields, one for the sentry guns which are the turrets on the top and the bottom and then one more for the rocket launches that are sitting underneath. So we'll give this a little thumbs up, we'll move all the way around to the very front here. My character can now jetpack on and bugger off into the distance, there we go. And we'll have a quick look around the outside, we'll then give it a proper thruster test once again and then we'll see how it handles against a larger ship and see how much damage we can deal with this. So at the very front here this is what we get. So front and centre we've got ourselves a spotlight to light up the darkness and that's been surrounded by some lovely red and black blocks. If I put on my light there you can see two traditional galley guns to blast our enemies with Then, as we move around the side we'll see even more galley guns to make sure we can deal a nice lot of damage to our target and hopefully win in a combat situation. If we were to look around over here we've got some nice use of the letter block spelling the CSC and right above that we can see our fighter cockpit to drive this thing around. You can also see our modded turrets which are very useful, they're essentially a small block gatling turret which have a much smaller hitbox making it much easier to fit on a small block ship. Yes we'll look at them a bit later. Coming around onto the side we then got a camera which is going to be very useful to aim our gatling guns and once again a few more spotlights. We've got some ion thrusters which are the main form of thrust that appear on this ship and then we've got three of our traditional rocket launchers sitting on the side there just in case you don't want to use the modded blocks. Now that was the thing when they first spawned this in is you don't have to use any of the mods on this ship. It's perfectly fine at using the vanilla weaponry that spawned with it. You can just forego the mods if you want to. But as we were to move around the side there's our rocket launchers. We've got some nice use for our barred window blocks just covering them up and adding in a bit more decoration. There's some more ion and hydrogen thrusters, a landing gear sitting just below our wing. Then towards the very back here some more ion thrusters, one large hydrogen thruster to boost us around. And we can see a connector right under there just to dock this thing up, refuel it with hydrogen and maybe some ammunition. If we were to move up and above first of all we can then look down at some more ion thrusters, a large hydrogen tank, some more good use of our barbed window blocks covering up some batteries. And as we were to move towards the front there even more hydrogen thrusters, we can see some nice block work going along our wings in the grey and the red. There's our modded turret, where we'll get a better look at that, that is just how it sits down onto the block. And if we were to come towards the front there, a few more hydrogen thrusters, a few cargo containers for the Gatling guns at the front. Then moving down underneath this thing, some more hydrogen thrusters, some more ion thrusters and there's another modded turret. If we were to come all the way over to this section, this is our modded destroyer launchers. Now as you can see there is one missile missing because I did test it out and it was a lot of fun. But yes when we turn this off the missiles will retract back into the block and that will close up making them nice and protected. It's a very fancy little mod and I really should use it more often. If I want to come back and start looking straight down, more hydrogen thrusters right there. We can see the missile pod on the opposite side. There's our landing gears, there's our connector and that is the very back. So there we go, that is a very brief look around the outside and it does look great with how it's all been set up. So now what I can do is grab hold of my character and we can fly over to the cockpit, see what's going on with it. So bringing up the HUD, this is what we get. 
So you'll probably see a bunch of modded blocks, with number one being for our turrets to turn them on and off. Number two is going to be for our rocket launchers on our wings, just to press and fire them all at the same time. Number three is going to be for our Gatling guns, to fire them all together. So there we go. And number four is going to be for our shield mod, to make it go up or down. Five and six is going to be for our camera sitting right next to our cockpit, so we can do that. And we can use Alt to move them all the way around, and get a better view at what's going on. Coming out of that, and pressing number seven, this is going to be for our rocket launchers underneath. So I'll bring the free camera back over, put the light on, and you'll see that will just retract up, that will close up, and there we go. It's a very fancy modded weapon, and out it comes once again. Number eight is going to be to fire our homing launchers. If I was to come back into this view and say turn towards one of the large ships, which is somewhere around here, if I put my HUD on, it should be somewhere in this direction. There it is. And we're just going to find our camera. We're going to zoom all the way in, and now we're going to press number eight. And we should see them fly off into the distance, but we might be out of range and they might not just home into that, or they might home into that, and we won't be able to see it. But yes, they would just go and track into a target if they're close enough. So there we go. Number nine is going to be for our hydrogen thrusters on and off around the ship. So there we go. Tab number two is for our batteries to auto recharge. We then got a reactor on and off, our ion thrusters to turn them on and off around the ship. And number four is going to be for our ion thrusters at the front for a cruise control. Number five is going to be for our hydrogen thrusters, once again all the way around the ship. Number six being for our landing gear to lock and unlock it, with number seven being to lock and unlock our connector. Number eight is then for our hydrogen tanks to stop power on and off, so we can use that to refuel with our connector. On tab number three, four and five, we've got nothing else, so we'll do a very quick thruster test, and we'll go and shoot up the large ship sitting in the distance. So moving forwards, what we're going to get is roughly nine seconds to reach 100 meters per second. And once again, I am using the deadly re-entry mod in this world, so the speed limit is a lot higher. But there we go. Coming to a stop is a completely different story. Yes, moving forwards was 9 seconds. Coming to a stop or reversing to 100 meters per second is 29 seconds, which is a very, very long time. To the point that you would want to do a 180 and boost forwards to make this thing stop a lot faster. Moving left and right is going to take roughly 14 seconds to reach maximum speed, and then moving up is going to take 5 seconds, and moving down is going to take 7 seconds. So there we are with that. The only odd ball on this ship is of course moving backwards without whopping 29 seconds. Yes, as you saw from the 180 I did, we do have a nice lot of control over this, so it's not really too bad at the end of the day. And yes, for the controls we have a tiny bit of weight on here, but it is rather floaty, and it does suit this size of ship. But with that all done and out of the way, what we can do is now fly over to the Cyclops and start shooting it up. So what you're going to see is the model turret should start to engage the decoys at the back of that ship, and we can fire our homing launches, which are just going to fly off into the distance, and now we can see them curving around and going after them. So I'm just going to zoom in and fire them once again. In fact, we'll turn off the turrets for the moment. So there they go, and they start to curve in and go for the ship. So there we are. So we're just going to keep spamming them all the way around. Let's just go like this. And off they go. Very nice little modded block. Yes, just coming out of that and turning on the turrets off once again. We can then start shooting it with the Gatling guns. Start shooting it with the rocket launchers. And we'll deal a nice lot of damage. So there we go with that. And we've got the weapon core mod appearing at the top of the screen. But yes, that is basically it for what the CSC fighter has to offer. I can't go through the shield mod. Like I said, it's a little bit balked on this ship. So the final thing to do, of course, is to slam ourselves straight into it and hopefully leave a massive hole. So as per usual, there will be a link to the ship in the description below if you do wish to download and play around with it yourself. I highly recommend you do because it is a very nice little modded fighter if you are looking to use one in your world. And here we go, straight to the side there. And we did not do much damage to ourselves. We just sort of snubbed the nose a little bit, lost our Gatling guns time for the turrets for the moment, but we did a nice a lot of damage to the large ship, which is very surprising. Yes, as I was saying, there'll be a link to it in the description below, and I'll be back with another video somewhere soon. Bye bye.